Welcome back, everyone, to day two of Five Rhythms in Five Days Foreign Challenge. Today, I have a treat for you. It's my favorite time signature of all time, and that's 7-8. So at the very beginning of this video, there's about three or four minutes of how to understand the music notation. So once you watch that once, you can then come back and just jump to the point of the video where I'm teaching you the pattern. So this is a very foundational rhythm of two plus two plus three. Now in my Keepers of the Rhythm course, I have nine stages. This is just a little snippet from stage one. So it's a great, it's actually the perfect place to get started if you've never done seven, eight. But I will say a little word of warning. If you find this speeds that I'm covering still too fast for where you're at right now, don't worry, inside YouTube, you can just go click the little cogwheel down in the bottom right corner. That is the little settings button. So you click on that, you get playback speed, you click on that again, and you'll see all the different options for adjusting the tempo. You can slow me down to whatever meets your needs. Okay. And then when you come back tomorrow, the next day, you can, you, you'll actually be able to see yourself progressing because you'll get to bump that number up a little bit. Hopefully that's the plan. So Without further ado, we're going to jump into just understanding notation. And this is actually understanding the notation in the way that I lay out the music. It's I teach a lot of different types of learners, and I know this is very intuitive. I've had heads of music from universities where I say, would you like me to write this out in proper notation? They're like, no, we like the arrows. Color is hugely helpful, but most importantly, the golden nugget, if on my deathbed, they said, what's the one tip that if all of, all of your learning or all your teaching uh, dies with you, and what's the one thing that you would leave on this earth, and it, you could leave one golden nugget, this would be it. Say it as you play it. Trust me, it works. So make sure you do that during these rhythms. It will really speed up your, your understanding, your comfort level. I really like to hear your feedback of that in the comments below too, that in particular, but also let me know how much you love the seven, eight. Hopefully I'll convert you. I've converted a lot of people to loving six, seven, eight. So without further ado, jump into day two and I'll see you at the back end of after the lesson. Before we dive into stage one of our sweet seven, eight module, I thought I should explain just a little bit about the notation so that you understand it. Remember that your down arrows or your down strokes, your up arrows or your up strokes, the highlighted pink arrows are just to help you see those upstroke accents coming. So the larger arrows are your accents or your slightly heavier beats. Don't take that too literally. It's just to help you see where the slight accent is. You don't have to wallop it. Also the little dashes, the little red dashes that you see, those are equivalent to a rest or a skip a pause, whatever you'd like to call it. But just keep in mind that all of the arrows and all of the dashes in this particular stage are all eighth notes. They're all equal to quavers or eighth notes. And so the dash, uh, the dashes in here are equal to the same amount of time as all these arrows are. When we get into using the triplets, uh, the arrows in the triplets will have a slightly different uh, note value to them, okay? Uh, don't worry about that for now. We also have repeat signs. And so repeat signs are when you see the two lines at the beginning of say a, a part or an exercise, but it also has double dots uh, next to it. What you, that means is you basically play from that beginning until you see double bar lines and double dots at the end. And a repeat sign usually means that you play something twice, but in some of these exercise videos, what I'll do is get you to play the exercises four times just to give you a little bit more repetition in getting to know these exercises. But those are our repeat signs. You'll also notice that I love color. <laughs> and so the yellow highlighting really helps you see when we have double downs or if the pink highlighting is for our double ups in a row. And I'll call them double downs and double ups, but really the very first stroke of those, we call that a tap stroke, where it has a little line at the top or the bottom of it if it's an upstroke. And it, what it means is basically instead of following through and doing a full down stroke or a full up stroke, I'm kind of coming into the drum uh, from a horizontal uh, approach and, and kind of stopping the flow of the tipper as soon as I make that little tap stroke so that it sets me up for success 
in doing a, a following downstroke or a following upstroke. And so we're gonna call that a tap. And in previous exercises or other videos, I might call it down down. In here, I'm gonna try to call it tap down. And I find that, that really, really helps. People remember that you're, you're playing a tap there. And then when we alternate, when we're going down, up, down, and then following with an up, I might say down to three instead of down, up, tap, down. So you'll get to know how I like to say these, and I've tried and tested these counts with hundreds of people <laughs> before, so they really work. So saying it really, really, really works. Uh, what else do I have to remind you of? Oh, the, I'm just looking at my, <laughs> my notes here. The uh, lower the arrows are on the staff, the lower the tone. And so um, you'll notice that some of the arrows go up a little higher around the middle kind of line of the exercises. Those are more like a medium uh, tension or, or pitch. And as the arrows go up higher on the staff, we'll aim for a higher pitch and pushing in much harder with their hand at the back and making that skin tension tighter for a higher tone. Also to the, to the left of each of the exercises, you'll notice I give like a little description of each of these, the, the count, what the count is, if it's two, two, three, or two, three, two, or you'll, you'll get to know uh, what I mean there. And also the to any tonal changes, any little pet names I'll give to these exercises, and also where we're going to use these in specific tunes, in, uh, in, tu in tunes that we're gonna cover in the module. So I hope that that, covers all the basics of the notation. Uh, any questions, please feel free to leave comments below, but I think that should cover it. So let's get started with stage one. To stage one of our Sweet 7-8 module, we're gonna focus on the rhythm two, two, three, or two plus two plus three. And that is just one of the many counts that you can um, take your seven eighth notes and kind of break them down into uh, where you put the accents or the emphasis. So we're gonna start with one, two, one, two, one, two, three, or it's kind of like short, short, long, short, short, long. We're going to dive right into these at 80 beats per minute, exercises one through to seven. We're going to do each one four times in a row. I encourage you to say the count along with me. I'll highlight the boxes so that you know exactly where I am. And I'll give you the count of down, down, down two, three, up, up, up two, three. So we can all start together. Okay, ready? All right, I'm gonna set my metronome so that I'm sounding all the seven eighth notes and uh, accenting on one, two, one, two, one, two, three on the those beats and uh, just look at the little video where I show you how to set the metronome for this count uh, just before this this video. Okay, ready? Down, 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 two, three, up, 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 two, three, down, 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 two, three, up, 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 two, three, down, 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 two, three, up, 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 again, down, 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 two, three, up, 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 two, three, down, 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 two, three, up, up, next one. Same for seven exercises at 100 beats per minute. Down, 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 two, three, up, 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 two, three, down. Three, down, up, down, up, down, two, three, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 
as much as I love teaching it, you can tell I get really excited about this time signature. And I just want you to be able to open your, uh, I guess, expand your repertoire of rhythms because some of the coolest stuff happens in irregular time signatures. And so think of your basic six, eight jigs and your regular reels, maybe your slip jigs as kind of like your pantry of staples, right? If you're cooking or baking, you've got your staples of flour, eggs, sugar, butter, milk, that kind of stuff. Those are that's your foundation. We all need that, right? That's we, you want to have that in your repertoire of your jigs and reels and and basic stuff. The true understanding of the foundations is really important. But then as you expand your repertoire of rhythms, you want to add some spice. And that's where all the different time signatures come in. You get to, I mean, Mark and I went to Edinburgh the other day to kind of celebrate 30 years of us meeting this time 30 years ago on stage at the cast party of the Edinburgh Tattoo, or the Edinburgh Tattoo, the Halifax International Tattoo. So we went to Edinburgh for the day and we went to a Vietnamese restaurant and we don't we don't have any Vietnamese restaurants here in Creef. And so it was so nice to try different spices of ginger and lime and stuff and it got me thinking about all these different time signatures and rhythms it really they add so much flavor and you don't know you're going to like it until you try it so i hope that you really like seven eight please leave me leave me a comment down below because someone who left a kind comment on day one said would we be able to get the pdf for these rhythms and because they were so kind and lovely <laughs> i thought sure i have pdfs all accompanying books for all of my courses. But what I'll do is I'll take the excerpts, these rhythms for the five days, and I'll put it in a tidy little PDF for you. And when I create that page, I'll make sure I put the link in the description of each of these videos so you can come back and download that for completely free, right? All I ask is a nice exchange of energy. If you want to subscribe to this channel, if you're not already subscribed, you're watching the videos, and you're, you're not subscribed, I'll just sit for a second, wait for you to do that. Just Click that little bell notification. Okay, no thanks. I'm just being playful with you. But also, uh, if you like the video and all of these engagements really help other fellow drummers find these types of videos, it helps with the YouTube algorithm kind of thing. So that would be just my request for you. If you could do that, that'd be a huge favor for me. And it's a win-win for both of us. So I will see you on day three. I'm still trying to decide which one I want to give you for day three. So um, yeah, this is all very like, current in real time creating this for you because I have thousands and thousands of rhythms I could give you. And so I'm trying to um, trying to kind of leaving your comments below helps like almost get helps me get in the energy of who's here and what might be just perfect timing. Someone left a message yesterday on the day one saying you have no idea how this is just perfect timing. It's like I, I live in that world of there's no coincidences and everything happens for a reason. So I get just excited about, oh, I wonder what I'll give you on day three. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you on day three and drum on my friends.